drink this beer while you tune. Dude, I'll just flick this every once in a while. There you go. Did you get that one? Yep. Close enough. Man, I usually have this. I'm under pressure. Don't let me. So I'll tell you what we have going on here. You know that feeling you get after a good ride with your friends, you're hanging out, maybe you're halfway through your first beer of the evening, and you feel invincible. No matter what idea anybody brings up, it seems doable. And so you start agreeing to a bunch of things that the next morning you go, what are we doing? You don't need front brakes. What are you talking about? It's gonna be fine. And that was the case with this project. It started out, basically we all realized between Josh Fenty, Dusty Weigel, and myself, that we all love riding bikes and we love playing music. We hang out at Josh's shop after riding his hand-built trails. And the conversation always turns to music. We're putting on songs for each other to listen to. We're grabbing instruments, teaching each other songs that we've written. We kind of just came to the realization we should make music together. And so naturally, we realized that we all love making bike videos. There's always a musical element to bike videos. We should shoot a bike video together on Josh's trails and then make a song to be the backing track for the video. And of course, things completely snowballed after we all agreed that that would be a good idea. And this is where we find ourselves now. Josh Venti is one of the most fun humans on the planet. He is by day the owner of a landscaping company. He started it with his brother, it's called Bros and Hoes Landscaping. He started building trails out his back door at some property he had access to. And Josh is the reason why we ended up with this little video right here as well, this project. But as with any good idea, it continued to snowball and Josh comes up with more ways to add to the challenge. He says, hey, well, my band is getting back together. Would you guys want to put together a little set list and open for my band? And we realized Josh's band is like really hard hitting, heavy, loud. It's like the best party band in the world. We're like, we kind of want to match that energy. So what started as one simple little <laughs> video project, super DIY, dad cams and GoPros, turned into, well, we have two musicians. Well, let's add Josh, we have three musicians. Well, if we have three musicians, we kind of need a fourth, so we've got a full band. We need somebody who can make this video. Who do I know who can play drums but also make videos? And that's when Doug got brought into the mix. Hey. Oh, hey, hey. oh, you know, it's like on a sitcom where everybody starts clapping. Hey, Doug. Doug walked in. Oh, hey. We realized there are a lot of logistics we've got to get over to be able to even come up with half the plans we've signed ourselves up for. Rehearsing is one thing. You got to do it in a room together. <laughs> Dusty and I live in the same town, which makes it a little bit easier, but the other two guys that we're making music with live nowhere near us. Josh is the closest. He's three and a half hours away. Doug lives up in Bellingham, Washington. He's eight hours away. Effectively learned like the core of seven songs yesterday, which is pretty dang good. <laughs> Yeah. 
recording is a whole nother thing. If your rehearsal space doesn't sound good, you don't have your recording equipment set up there, well, you gotta get everybody set up somewhere else to record. And logistically recording just this one song was hilarious. We recorded in so many different places. We rehearsed at Josh's, tried to record there. It sounded horrible. We've got some stuff mic'd up here. A kick drum mic, an overhead mic. We've got the bass cab mic'd. We've got a room mic hanging from a cable right here. We got a little mic duct taped to the pool table here. Probably gonna throw a mic on each one of those guitar amps. At the end of the day, we had a failed recording at Josh's shop, and then we ended up recording the drum track at Dusty's music room at his house. Yeah, it's like right before at the end, I like hit the ride. I started hitting the ride like really hard. <laughs> we did guitar overdubs in that space. We did the final vocal take at my house in my music area. And then we still needed a bass track. So what we ended up doing is at a bike race where we all were parked next to each other camping. I brought some recording equipment. We recorded Josh's bass track in the back of his toy hauler. I got in, got the headphones on, in the editing program on the computer, and things started sounding pretty good. And when I finally got the recording to, the, to where I wanted it, I heard it and I went, wow, this is exactly what we've been striving towards. We ended up with way more than we bargained for. We just wanted one song to be able to cut a video to. And then we ended up with a full set list. Josh came up with the idea of us playing a live show. That ended up snowballing into us setting up at a bike race, playing our second live show. We thought, heck, we've got like three originals right now. Let's add some covers to it. And so we added a couple Nirvana covers into it. And now we found ourselves with a song on Spotify. We've got a name for our band. And I don't know, I think we're kind of a band now. You guys want to ride some bikes? Count us in, dude, Jai. All right. Yeah! Let's ride. Oh. <laughs>
That's fun. It's way more fun with friends. Big time. <laughs> Big time. It's like, I want to shoot a video with some homies. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Thanks for including me. It's Dude, been fun. Hell yeah. Looking good, dude. <laughs>